hello and welcome back i'm so excited for this video today i mean it's just a marvelous day even though it's raining outside and the weather is horrible i just you know i'm ecstatic just just to be able to be have a job just to be able to um, motivate and inspire my students you know i teach inner city high school so anything i can do to be helpful to the community that's what i want to do but i have a shout out this morning god never ceased to amaze me by putting marvelous people in my life so i um mentioned in a video maybe two videos ago or last video that i needed a new light and look what my teacher friend and subscriber, she listened to me. She was like, Miss Ken, I got you a gift for Christmas. And um, when she came in yesterday, she works an after school program at my school. And oh my goodness. So she got me this awesome, awesome light. And I just can't wait to plug it up and see if it makes a difference. It's a rainy day today. So I'm going to take five minutes and set this up and see if it makes a difference on the video today. But guys, I want to shout out Abby. Abby, I love you. Thank you so much for this um, gift that is well needed. I mean, it clamps to the um, table, right? And so um, we just going to try it out. So on this video, you will see if that makes a difference from my intro to when I start planning. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so it does come with this little remote control, but I need to get some batteries. I do think it brightened up the shot a little bit. I do have to work on positioning it, but for right now, it will be fine. So today I thought we will take a look at my one week of goals or my goals as a one week check-in, if I said that correctly. So what we wanna do is I think I wanna use a currently. And with the currently, um, this is a Lux book planner called um, Lux book volume three. Um, I did have her volume two and I think I had a previous volume as well, but I was a new planner when that first one came out. And so I did not use it, but I did use the volume two. So what I did was I went to the templates and I want to see what she had for currently. And then I favored it. So in her template section, she only has two currently. So I picked, I think, the first one because I think I can write my goals out and then I can journal how week one went. So what I'm going to do is copy this page. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning of the planner. So I can just go to January and then I'm going to swipe because these are not linked. I don't think, and then I'm gonna place it behind my week two. So when you print your planner, which I plan to do, Kristen has given multiple videos on that. And I have been wanting to do this for over five years since I've seen or have started using Kristen's um, planner and just time. So I practice all the time, but I just haven't printed it. Anyway, let's move on. So we're gonna hit this button and we're gonna paste the page right behind it. So my current, this will be week two. And then I will pick my weekly layout and then I will match those two pages with color. I did pick this um, template, but I don't know if I'm gonna use that one. We'll see for next week's um, weekly. And what I like to do or what my goal is, is that I plan in my, um, catch all which is my daily and then i take the most important things that happened that week or this week i took my top three i, I don't want to go all the way back to week um one but i take my top three from the list and then i made you know my weekly um schedule so i can take those moments of what i was doing the majority of the day and then I looked at my um, word of the year, and this is not my word of the year page, but it was just to go along with week one because I'm in 2024. It was the first week. I will not miss a step. I've set some you know, goals that I wanna do. And my word for the year is authentic. So I'm true to my own personality, values, and spirit, regardless of the pressure that I'm under to act otherwise. 
I'm honest with myself and with others and I take the responsibility for my mistakes. And I just wanted to be honest with myself as far as what my time would allow me to do, the things that I'm trying to accomplish and just be true to me. Nobody else it doesn't have anything to do with um, what somebody thinks of me or, or otherwise. And, um, and I'm on my way. I'm on my way to designing the life that I desire. So today we're just gonna quickly go over the things that I wanna accomplish and then we'll come back um, hopefully tomorrow and we'll be able to take a look at the final product. So what I'm going to do is take a quick screenshot to cover up the work currently because, um, and I could leave it there, but I'm not. So we're just going to take a quick screenshot and you know, I'm filming in my classroom, right? So I have to constantly get up because this lights are on a timer. I hate that. Normally, it doesn't affect filming, but because today is a rainy day in Virginia, I'm not sure. So, I'm sorry about me having to constantly change the lighting. I hate that. But it's, unless somebody else is in the room, you're not going to be able to keep the lights on. So, now we're going to talk about the few goals that my students are walking in the room. We're going to... um we're gonna talk about the few goals that I wanna accomplish and the things that I'm gonna be um, journaling about for my first week of how it went or my checklist or things of that nature. So I'm just gonna quickly type out the goals that I have. And one is um, I want to meal prep. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this font, but um, I'll decide that after I get everything on the page. And so one of the things I learned is that we just going to go with it for right now. And then the other thing is that I'm going to post three videos a week. So I will post three. And I'm writing this as if this is happening. I will post three videos a week. So we need to hit the text box. Okay, so I will post three videos a week. And so I'm just typing it out. I haven't changed the font and I need, so let me delete that. So what I wanna do is use the same size. So you probably wanna just copy this, just some little tips, paste, and then retype it. So I can go ahead and I will, we're just gonna set the page up for time's sake. And then I can go back and change it to my goals that I have set for myself. And then I can kind of like do a little check-in, right? And so the first thing I wanna do now is go over the goals that I've set because I am going to read, um, I haven't said how many books, but I'm gonna read more. And so right now, and I'm, I'm reading um, the 12 week year and Atomic Habits. I'm reading both of them at the same time. And so one of them is, well, I, I will read, um, I don't wanna, I'm trying to say how many books I could read in a month. I don't know. I don't wanna put a number. Let's just say I will read at least two books. I'm gonna finish both of those books this, this month. And if it changes and I read more, hey, that, that's awesome, right? I will read, because you got to set specific measurable goals. You just can't say I will read because then you may not accomplish those things. So I will read two books. And I'm getting tired of this. What is it? Good nose is just tripping. All right, so we're going to read two books. We're going to meal prep. We're going to work out. Day, five days a week, right? I got up this morning and I did walk away to pounds. So we're gonna, um, I'm going to work, I will work out five days a week. I'm not saying going to the gym either. I'm just gonna work out or whatever that looks like. It looks like I'm gonna have to resize these because they're not the same size. And it's, and when you wanna resize something, it's best to click it 
and then change it with the text because if not, they won't be the same when you're trying to gauge it. So if I want to make this smaller, then that's what I would have to do. And then I can center these. So when I tech, hit the text and double tap it, it's supposed to click it, then go back. Mm. Good news is tripping the day, right? So then I want to go to my text and then change the font. I think that thing's at 72. That's still not small enough. We might have to do two lines. I want them even if I have to do two lines. All right, and then the next one was I'm a I'm a Bible I will Bible study daily. That's seven days a week. And so I got my exercise, my meal prep. Oh, I will post. I will work out five days a week. I will read two books. Oh, I will, I will work out. No, I did that one. I will post three videos per week. Okay. These are not all my goals, but currently that's what I'm working on. And so we want to do is check back in on how we're doing this week with these goals last week was a bust for some of these because um of i was still on vacation right and so i was really focused on some other things i do need to work on i think i have a box right here i do need to work on you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to take this line out so that this box goes with this one so we're going to take a copy of this um All right, we're going to take a copy of this white space and take that line out. All right, and so now I'm going to journal about how the week went at the end of um, the week. And it's gonna be my one week check-in. All right, guys, that's what I'm going to be using for my check-in today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you stayed this far, let me know what you're thinking and how you're going to be checking in with your goals. I'll be coming back to you more with the 12-week year. So I'm actually um, listening to it on audio. So if you don't have time to read, one of the things that you can do is download Audible. I do pay $14.99 a month and I get one book um, a month for free. I'm not for free for that cost. I was going to show you, I have nine credits, <laughs> so I don't always buy a book a um, month, but I do have the credits in um, order to do that. So I don't always have time to, to read a book, but that's, this is intentional. So this, this year I'm going to be intentional. And so I'm looking for book ideas. If you have any, drop them down. I need a fiction book. I have enough self-help and Bible studies, but I am looking. 
Oh my goodness. I'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow. As y'all can see, um, the hallways are already lit. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one, guys. ready for my check-in okay and so i'm really still working on this because i haven't really um followed through the 12 week year the way i want to so i really want to do weekly check-ins and i also want to make sure i'm doing the activities that they describe in the atomic habits and in the 12 week year to make sure i'm accomplishing my goals so we're just going to focus on the process right we're going to focus on the process and the results will come so we're going to meal prep we're gonna plan our meals on Sunday, you know, do some meal prepping on Sunday if, if necessary. I'm doing two shakes and one meal right now and I am drinking um, protein shakes. I'm gonna only eat out on Fridays if I choose to. My goal is not to, but if fr friends and family wanna go out, then I'm gonna allow myself that one day um, a week. I'm gonna work out five days a week and let me just go back. I want that to be a habit that I'm only eating out one day a week. These are things I want to do for the rest of my life or until I update my um, goals. I'm using walk away to pounds video in the morning because I am the academic coach and I got basketball games and different things. Of course, the bad weather that we're encountering. I do have hand weights at home, so I'm going to be lifting five days a week along with walking the pounds. I should have put and I'll update that five days a week, Monday through Friday is what my goal is. And if I miss a day, I can sub in Saturday and Sunday. I'm going to go to the sauna at least three days a week because I sit in the sauna for like an hour. I've summarized the two little books that I'm reading. They're not little, but I'm going to Bible study a day. I think I need to increase it. So looking at what this plan that I'm going to be starting, it's going to be about four to five chapters a day. Right now I'm doing two chapters a day. I'm caught up on my two chapters a day, but maybe I need to spend some time this weekend and make sure that I'm on track. Um, and I'm starting at Genesis. Now I did find a Bible study. Let me see if I still have it saved where you don't read it, um, in order from Genesis to revelation, but you kind of read it for, um, here we go. Read it in chronological order. So I'm going to be doing some research. I found this on Etsy. I'm not sure if I'm going to purchase it, but it kind of takes you through a weekly plan. I've already read Job. So I'm ahead of the game when it comes to reading um, Job. Genesis, I've already read all of this. So I'm kind of like up here. I'm already on week three, so to speak. So I'm going to be looking at this. This is taking you in the order that it happened. Chronological means that it happened not the way it's written. And I want to know why they didn't write it in chronological order. So that's something that I'll be looking at. And I might just screenshot this page right here and put that into my planner. But once I decide on the Bible study, right now I'm just reading Genesis all the way through because I've read Job. I want to know how those two are entwining. So I am using commentary for that. I'm going to be posting three videos this week, hopefully every week. And so I'm listing the two videos that I'm planning. So I'm doing the goals check-in. Tomorrow we'll do my week two setup. I usually do that on Sundays, but I'm getting ahead of the game. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this template. Of course, um, this is the Lux Book Planner. Cut the writing mode off. And when we go to templates, you have several templates that we can choose from, right? And so I'm not sure and uh, which one I'm going to do. And she has single page layouts and double page layouts. You can even use 
a double page layout if you choose to and you can tweak it however you want to just like you saw me tweak her currently um page and so i'll be trying out different templates i hope that you follow through with me um through the rest of this year and see how all of this unfolds holding me accountable that's what i like i think um post and holds me um accountable for my actions right and so we just want to make sure that i'm accountable And I'm doing the things I need to do. So if you enjoyed this video thus far, please go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know how you're working on your goals and how you're doing things in your planner. Um, if you need anything or want me to go over anything or you want to know why I got something from, please leave me a comment below. I have no problem sharing with you all. This is a community where we are working together to make sure that we're all getting through our goals. I hope you all have a marvelous day and I will see y'all tomorrow. And that's a promise.